Hello everybody, it's Fox Over Real Fan here today, and um, I figured I'd just make a short little um, tutorial on how to paint Trainiacs trains. Now uh, I know this is really popular, and I'm I've done a lot of this art, but uh, not a lot of people know how to do it, and there's not really a good tutorial on YouTube of how I do it. So if you want stuff looking like this and that, then I will show you how to do that here today. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to www.trainiacs.com and <clears throat> that's not the right website. <laughs> okay, it, it, that's definitely not the right website. Okay. Don't go to the gym Trainiacs. You want to go to this Trainiacs. Now, he does photos, recordings, and these drawings of trains. Um, and they're free to use if you want to put them on a website or anything like that you just got to shoot him an email and he's real nice about it but you're gonna want to get a locomotive so let's just say we want um, uh, let's do a, I don't know we'll pick a let's do a uh, let's do mp15 now uh, there are three different scales, uh, 118 scale, 136 scale, and 155 scale. Now he doesn't do 155 scale anymore, but he does do 118 and 136 scale. So we're going to go with one of those, one of these three. I usually do 155 because it's the smallest and the easiest to use for me, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you can do. I'll show you the different sizes here. So this is this is a 155. It's quite small. It's what these. It's what this is, and uh, it's not that big, but it's it's a nice size for people who like to do these drawings just as amateurs. But <clears throat> that's also 155. But say you want to do an SC70 Ace. He has 118 scales, and these things are really big. These will take a lot of time to paint, and they will. They'll turn out nice, but they're really big and they'll take a long time. And then if we just click that, it'll get rid of it. This is a 136 scale. These are in the middle. And, uh... I'm sorry, my brother's being an idiot. Uh, he's playing that Fortnite game. Uh, it's kind of stupid if you ask me. But anyway, this is 136 scale. And, oh, that's Bandicam. Whoopsies. This is 136 scale, and this is in between 155 and 118. Now for this, we're going to go back to the MP15. He's got a, a, quite a few drawings on here, so you can pick and choose. And there are multiple versions for each drawing. So we're going to take this, drag it onto my desktop, right click it, and we're going to open it in Microsoft Paint. Now I'd just like to get rid of this because it's kind of annoying when I start to work. But now the first thing you're going to do is you want to color the small things in it, like the couplers and the rails and stuff. But this one does not have a blue sky background, and that you're going to need, you're going to require a blue sky background to do this uh, tip and the style that I painted in. Now uh, your best friend when doing this is going to be Control Z, which is undo. Because if you mess up like I do, you're going to want to use that. So, because it doesn't have a blue sky background, we're going to have to make our own. So you're going to grab this blue color up here, and you're just going to dot it on there, and fill in everything that should be background on here. And you can use this tool, the eraser tool, which I'll show you how to use later, to do this as well. And I'm just going in here on the trucks and I am just uh, painting the sky. And like I said, Control Z is going to be your best friend when doing this. So now that you have a blue sky background in pretty much every spot that you're going to want it, you're going to want to color the auxiliary areas like windows, number boards, 
glass lights, all that stuff blue so it doesn't get painted. And there, anything else that you don't want to get painted, you can paint this blue color too. So like say this horn I didn't want to get painted, I can paint this blue. And then that'll get painted when I go back and finish it up. So second thing you're going to want to do is have a paint scheme in mind for this locomotive. Now I don't know what you guys want to do, but I'm, I'll paint this for my fictional railroad, the New Holstein and Western. So now we use a gray and a red sort of paint scheme. And so I am going to just start by doing this frame. Now you may be asking yourself, how do I get to paint as quickly as that? Well now, up here, there's an eraser tool. Now to use this, you're gonna to wanna to go over to your colors and you're gonna to wanna to make color one white and color two the color that you wanna paint. Now this, uh, this will replace the white with your second color. So when you're painting, you just go around and right click the color and it'll replace it. And then you can also just quickly go in with your uh, paint bucket tool and do touch up or just paint areas that are bigger. So let's say, yeah, frame's done. Now we're gonna get our second color, the red, and we're gonna just go on through here with the same technique and just make everything red. And then we're just gonna say that we're, we just made this mistake of not filling in some parts down here. Now to fix this, you're gonna put the red as color one because that's the color you're replacing and then just carefully go over the area that you want to fix with your eraser tool and then for this also you can just come in and right click that because that will make that color gray and now this is only erasing the red and it's replacing it with gray And this is a very easy way to get nice, smooth lines if you have a steady hand. So we're going to... I missed some there, so we're just going to touch that up. Just finish coloring this up. And uh, it will... Uh, once you finish your primary body colors, we'll get along to, uh, to lettering. <clears throat> so there's the frames done. So quickly we'll just bump that up. Oopsies. Whoopsie doopsie. We'll pump that up to the biggest size it can get and we'll just go ham on this body. Filling in every white space with red. Uh, and then once we have this finished, I'll show you how to do some lettering quick. There we go. The body color is done, so now we're going to get on to lettering. Now we're going to number this one number 15. So up here, you're going to want to change your font to whatever font you want. Now I'm going to use Arial Black because that's the one my railroad uses. So number 17, like that. Just we'll get that aligned with there, and then you pop it on there, and it's good. And then here, we're going to letter it for the NHNW, which is my fictional road. NHNW. There we go. Now, we're going to want to change the windows back to white. And then the number boards as well. There we go. We're almost finished. Alright. So now we have our model done. And now... What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to save it, but we're not just going to exit out and click save. We want to save it as a PNG file, otherwise we'll get a bunch of nasty dots on it. So we're going to name this one NHNW17. Now also I'm going to